to say that care, care to say that care. care it's always good to be joined by home care workers in the Capitol. Do we have some SEIU members in the house? Do we have some home care workers in the house? And do we have workers who deserve a living wage and fair benefits in the house? Heck yes, we do. My legislation, co-prime offered, co-prime sponsored with Representative Jason Ortizai, is going to invest in our home care system so that providers can offer competitive wages and meet increasing demands. This is bipartisanship in action. We are working to get this done. But we know that if we don't do more than that, a few years from now with the way inflation is going, we'll be right back where we started. And that's why my legislation requires a market-based analysis of rates every three years. Because if my colleagues automatically get a cost of living adjustment to their wages, all workers should get that COLA increase. That's only fair. Now it's all great to increase rates, but if we aren't guaranteeing that those increases go toward care, what good do they do? So just like CMS is requiring federally, we're going to enshrine into law in Pennsylvania that 80% of our reimbursements go toward care. Because we cannot meet ever increasing demand for home care as our Commonwealth's population continues to age if we are paying poverty wages. And we certainly cannot expect high quality care if we aren't making it possible for folks to stay in this workforce. That is why there is bipartisan support for this legislation. Because taxpayer dollars should be invested in quality care. That's right. Now, are you all gonna help me get it done? Yes! Are you all gonna help me get it done? Yes! I want to ask you all to join me in calling on my colleagues and the governor to support this critically important investment. And I want to thank the secretary for coming out today as well, because care work is valuable work.